going on fellow readers this is another edition of writer ralph and i'm going to be talking about iron man 2 the novelization of the movie now this novelization was written by alexander irvin and i must say i was very impressed with this book of course movie to book adaptations always have slight differences and for the most part that don't that didn't really bother me except for probably the ending part but as far as everything else, I really enjoyed it. It was it does have the action of the movie. It does tell the story almost word for word from the movie, and even the very the parts where uh, Tony Stark is sitting here just having at it with other people is just hilarious. Even as you read this book, I'm glad that they did capture this in this book because I found that to be some of the most hilarious lines I've ever seen in the movie. Now, I will sit there and have a little spoiler towards the end. And for those of y'all who have seen Iron Man 2, this is a clip for y'all. Now, the end of Iron Man 2, you had Iron Man and you had War Machine fighting that uh, whiplash in his uh, armor suit. And they destroyed him by, you know, combining their uh, blast and energy. And, and he then he self-destructed. Now, in the in this book... It was a uh, the ending was different and kind of it was kind of like this. Well, okay, a, a whiplash did uh, did appear, but like in the movie, you know, Iron Man and War Machine are fighting all these robots. But in the book, they're fighting the robots, but a Whiplash is up kidnapping kidnapping Pepper. So Iron Man takes off while War Machine is just still fighting versus these machines. And then when he uh, goes to confront Whiplash, he made, Whiplash makes him take off his armor. And then, it, like in the movie, he had these electrical whips, but in the book, he had these whips that was like metal or something. And then they turned, they got electrical or whatnot. So it ended up wrapping around his neck and something like that. And then before he could kill him, something happened. Some kind of he distracted him some kind of way. And uh, you know, Iron Man gets uh, Pepper, and then. They fly away just as War Machine comes in with this supposedly really big bomb that killed uh, Whiplash, which I didn't really. It seemed really unlikely because of the way it was told and what happened. But I, you know, what I'm saying it still was a good book. It's still enjoyable to read. Besides from the ending, I really found it enjoyable. I found it funny. I found it action packed. I thought it did a really good job of getting deeper into the characters that the movie did not really portray. Um, Especially uh, Whiplash's part where it tells more about what happened to him while he was in jail, what happened to him with his father and everything, which you didn't really see in the movie. But in the comment section below, please let me know, have you read Iron Man 2? Have you seen the movie? What did you think about it? Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Please share this on your Facebook and your Twitter. And I'll see y'all on the next edition of Writer Ralph. And remember, keep reading.